All right, guys. I'm gonna do a little unboxing here of a camera slider that I got from B&H Photo, located in New York City, New York. And then after that, I'll do a little uh, demonstration. So yeah, this is a Revo 33 inch camera track, excuse me, camera track slider. I did read the reviews. I bought, um, this is the first slider that I've ever owned. So I figured I'd go with a fairly cheap one but not one that's, you know, a piece of garbage, but one that's not, you know, super uber professional. I read all the reviews on this. Um, some people said that, you know, the slider wasn't, you know, quote, perfect or whatever. And I don't expect to get a perfect slider for $110. Okay, so there isn't much to this box, which is, that's actually a good thing. And this is the whole thing right here. Um, from all the reviews that I read, for the price, you really can't beat it. <laughs> um, it works, basically. Um, that's my whole thing with whatever I buy. You know, If I buy one of the cheaper models of something, um, I don't expect it to work fantastically, but I expect it to work, right? With the reviews I read, people say it works, but it's not like the best slider they ever bought in their life, which I think I can live with that. I mean, this is just like, it's so simple. So here's the sliding mechanism in the middle. It looks like you just have to loosen it up. And uh, I mean, okay, now this little noise, I don't even know if you guys can hear it. This is what people complain about. They say, oh, well you can hear it, you know, when it's sliding. So people say, well, you know, you gotta put Vaseline on there or you gotta put some other type of lubricant uh, and it, and it you know, cuts down on the on the noise, which uh, you know that's that's obviously that's a good thing uh, that you have that option to be able to to do that. So let's go ahead and install the legs on this puppy. This is like one of those you don't even need to read the directions kind of deals. You just if you can't figure out how to do it by just looking at it, you're semi retarded. So you got these brackets right here that mount onto it. And each bracket has two screws. Plop them in one and two, like so. And then you've got two holes right, excuse me, right here. These two holes goes in. Okay, so that's all there is to this thing. It's very, very, very simple design, which I love. Super lightweight. I mean, this thing is probably three pounds at the most. I'll have to weigh it and see, but um, you got the main rail system here. You have the slider that sits on there with an, uh, with an adjustable uh, knob right here. Obviously, you can loosen it all the way up and it frees up your slider. Uh, you can tighten it down a little bit and it gives you a little bit of friction. Um, and you got the one leg bracket here and you got the other one here. Four pieces. One, two, three, and four. Not counting the screws that screw that in, but uh, it's super, super easy. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out is on your actual slider mechanism here, uh, it does come with two separate mounting screws. This is a quarter inch, the smaller one, and this is three eighths of an inch. So um, most cameras are gonna fit the quarter inch, uh, but you do get some cameras that have three eighths, and the camera that I'm actually filming on right now has both. And of course, you know, you got the little bubble level here, which is always nice. Now, another thing you'll notice on this thing is that you've got other holes all alongside here, right? These are to mount on your actual tripods. So if you had one tripod, you just mount you just mount it right here in the middle, mount it really really tight, obviously, and then you could have it sit up high, you know, as high as your tripod will go. Adjust adjust your height to where you need it to be um, to get a nice sliding shot, you know. So this isn't sitting on the floor. You know, you can always put this on a tabletop, but really the best the best kind of stability is if you have two tripods, one on each side here. It's the ultimate in stability. And of course, you can get creative 
uh, put it at angles and stuff like that. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff uh, with this thing. $110 from B&H Photo. And I can tell you right now, even before I'm using it, that I like it. It, it just it feels like a solid quality piece of material here. Uh, it, it does not feel, um, it is lightweight, but it's not lightweight in the sense that it feels like it's cheap. Um, it's aluminum and uh, it's solid aluminum. One thing that I did read on the review that is obviously a good, um, uh, a good observation is that you have to be, the, the, the biggest thing that you have to be careful with when you're storing this or moving it or whatever, this is aluminum, like I said, and you can ding up these rails right here. And obviously, you don't want to do that because if you ding up these rails, this slider system that, that slides along these rails is super, super sensitive. And if there's a ding or, or a nick or something in these rails and it feels it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to jolt a little bit. And so obviously, if you're trying to get a smooth shot, you don't want that. But anyway, um, let me try this sucker out and uh, do a demonstration for you guys.